guys why is nasto apologizing why is he apologizing and he was very specific very specific with what he said So guys, welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your presence. If this is your first time watching or you've been watching but you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing, like, share, comment. And uh, most importantly, I've mentioned it, but uh, if you don't mind, if you can, kindly share your thoughts, comment so that we can interact as we always do. My people, thank you so much for always coming back. You watch, you like. Thank you. And for my moderators, I can never thank you enough because what you do is I always say you just think that you come over, you vibe, that is it. No, hey, you do a lot. Thank you so much. So, are you ready for this? Because I'm super, super ready. Let's start. Guys, why is Nasto apologizing? Why is he apologizing? And he was very specific, very specific with what he said. So, a lot has been said uh, over the past few days. Uh, uh, yeah, of uh, maybe some misunderstandings that uh, happen in the village, but personally for me, I really want to apologize to maybe the parties that uh, that were affected because even some of you guys, uh, for me, I don't like keeping you guys like uh, on the hot seat. Like, uh, what has happened? What has happened? Like, I just we, what you want is to show positivity about life, yeah? Sharing positive messages, encouraging uh, most of us. Because I believe there are people who look up maybe up to Nasto, there are people who look up to maybe Marwa, there are people who look up to, yeah, taking their time to watch our videos. So it's not good sometimes to feed uh people with maybe negative uh negative or stressing information out there so sometimes that's why you we we try to keep as calm as uh, as we can but uh i just want to assure you guys that nothing bad uh, really happened uh the issues have been resolved and uh, I personally have respect so much, especially to the people who supported me during my uh, the beginning of maybe my YouTube career. Even up to now, a lot of people really support me, and I will never like uh, intentionally do something that maybe tries to maybe tries to maybe show I don't know. I'm trying to look for the word that can replace Mother Rao. That can be maybe belittle or show disrespect to someone. Personally, that has not been my, my, uh, like my angle or my upbringing. Yeah, so maybe if I've offended someone out there, I really want to apologize and say sorry for what uh, whatever transformed because you're all human and trust me even human beings i believe maybe even you who is watching or someone out there maybe you have crossed paths with uh with someone but the best thing is to always maybe accept and uh, apologize if yeah saying sorry can't hurt and also to our subscribers i'm really sorry for maybe putting you in a tough spot trying to weigh or uh, trying to understand what really transformed but it was not a, a, a very big issue it was just a small misunderstandings and uh, everything is is now okay i did not intend to be little because he lacked a better term to use but if you understand swahili he said this during when i was growing up i didn't intend to you know, so that is how we referred to it in English. I didn't want to belittle someone, so I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, guys, this is inside information, and uh, don't get me wrong, it's not like uh, I'm supporting Dimwango because the way she approached the issue was 
so wretched like it was just so unacceptable because why drag each and everyone else hmm? <laughs> did uh, the rest of the crew who were in the party Onyesha you mother or something no they did not at the same time <laughs> of course we know Dimwango she's so mean she's so jealous she doesn't want to support anyone I've always said this this is not the first time if you don't come from that village no, if you come from that village, she doesn't want to support you. She wants to be the only one. You know, that is a fact. She's jealous. She's everything that I've always said out here. But don't get, you know, <laughs> don't get this drama twisted. That is what happened. Because, of course, you understand, guys. This is hassle for some people. Especially in Yabwanza YouTubers, this is their main hustle. This is their main hustle. People will come out here and pretend, huh? and pretend like they don't even know what people are talking about. Look at me now at the moment. She has been, hey, don't come out here and defend Nasto. <laughs> Look at what Minawi is going through. She came out here, spoke her truth, which a lot of people I think misunderstood me. No. Me now we spoke the truth, but of course I was just laughing, you know, because of course we know me how we, she usually comes out here, mentions people's name, and uh, when it comes to uh, Di Mwango situation and us, so of course she knew, <laughs> you don't try, because you will be left alone. <laughs> She's dealing with fanatics who doesn't want to know the truth, you know. You just touch on Di Mwango and that is it. I was just laughing because of that, but I, I understand. I support her. Of course, at least I even applaud Mina for having the guts, although she didn't have the full, full guts of even coming out here and narrating the whole, narrating the whole thing straight up. You know, mention the names, name it. But of course, I said it yesterday. I understand. This is people's hustle. Hey, guys, there are some of you who always comes to reactors channel and you like, you, they put food on your table. Guys, this is a hobby for some of us. We have our full-time career, so stop it. If you want to know the people who are being fed by YouTube, <laughs> is that okay out here? If you want to know the people who are being fed huh, by this thing, are these people in Yabwanza? So that is why you'll see some people like Nasto will come out here and throw Minhawi under the bus. Have you seen what uh, Minhawi's fiancé has tweeted? <laughs> no, a comment. Was it a comment or a community post? I'll pull it out here. No when to talk. Huh? No when to be silent. No what to, to talk about. <laughs> because Minhawi came out here and messed huh, with the her daily bread because of course i've explained that number without times i still applaud her for coming out here and speaking you know people should speak why are you so afraid but at the same time something that i'm so lenient i'm always lenient out here i understand people who come out here <laughs> i don't support nyash leaking no i do not support but at, but at the same time there are some people this is hey <laughs> and this is everything to them you know so sometimes i understand you see the likes of yan <laughs> you see the likes of yan washing utensils and clothes for uh rocio i always come out here and call out that nasty nasty way you know you don't you don't lower yourself to that point but at the same time <laughs> at the same time I, i'm always if you watch this channel you know what i mean i'm always so lenient i'm like guys but you have to understand some people this is everything for them so you don't have to blame them that much talking about <laughs> talking about uh finding ian she was kicked he was kicked out of the villa can you imagine the same things we've been talking about here exactly the same things i mentioned the same thing why are you coming out here ian eh? come out here for two weeks do the most get the views get the donors if that is what you want you know and move don't lower yourself to that point that you have to to lick people's nyash. <laughs> for what? I know for so many things, subscribers, views, donors, this and that. But, but at the same time, know your limits. Look at, your, <laughs> look at yourself now. You've been kicked out shamefully. You see what I meant? So, <laughs> it's the same thing. It's for the same reason that I always come out here and I'm like... What is the name of this guy? The name is Masubo, but I think the other name is Gake. I always come out here. Gake! Hey, 
get your certificate, get your degree, get your plan B, get your plan B. Look at your fellow nyashlikas, nyashlika. <laughs> They've been kicked out. They have been kicked out. What makes you think that you're so special? What makes you think that you're so special than any other person that has been kicked out? The only thing that is so different between you and these other people is the fact that uh, they, they still enjoy your services. They are using you squarely, but nothing is important with you that is not to the rest of the people who have been kicked out. Hmm? Hey, I've always mentioned this. Look at these things happening. So let me come back to the topic of the day. Nasto came out here and apologized. Hmm? Actually, guys, uh, there's also some something that has been happening, yeah, going around. A lot of people have been giving out speculations, maybe without the full information, or uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, for me personally, uh, me, I just want to say thank you, uh, a big thank you to Ayamaro. Yeah, you know, sometimes when our big brother, let me just call him big brother, Marwa leaves the village, sometimes we get so lonely. The village becomes somehow uh, boring, boring. But uh, it was a good moment for him to travel all the way to Argentina to go and... Uh, because the reasons were, were out, like, they were very valid reasons. Because uh, Marwa is taking the, the wife, who is uh, uh, Rocio, to go and deliver in uh, in uh, Argentina and uh, yeah to get maybe the best medical uh, medical help stop it and also yeah they have maybe they, they know better so uh, the party was a success most of us went to the party we really had fun we enjoyed and I want to thank everyone who also attended the party and everyone also who supported. I really want to apologize and say sorry for what, uh, whatever transformed. Because you're all human. And trust me, even human beings, I believe maybe even you who is watching or someone out there, maybe you have crossed paths with, uh, with someone. But the best thing is to always maybe accept and uh, apologize. If, yeah, saying sorry can't hurt and also to our subscribers i'm really sorry for maybe putting you in a tough spot trying to weigh or uh, trying to understand what really transformed but it was not a, a, a very big issue it was just a small misunderstandings and uh, everything is is now okay but also you know sometimes something happens to you and uh, you learn yeah you learn for example maybe you used to have maybe a lot of friends out there Maybe because maybe your things were were going were going okay, so maybe one day your things maybe stop going okay, and maybe you need help from these friends. But uh, most of them try to keep distance. So at least some moments in life tell you who is the real friend, who is the not real friend. So. And also, I've really learned because those are. It was a bit of a hard period. I've been silent on this. So you learn, and also I want to share with you. Sometimes don't open up so much to to people, <laughs> especially the people maybe who you consider as uh, as friends. Sometimes you can call them, "Hey, my friend, this happened, this, 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 and that," and then maybe they can try to use your words against them. So it, it, is, it is life, but in life, you have to remember that every day is a, is a learning lesson. Sometimes you might go through a hard period trying to learn like the bitter truth. So also out there, don't overshare maybe information with uh, some of your friends because the issue, the issue that happened, we were, uh, we were like, some people who are not maybe supposed to get the information you are surprised that they already get some information and maybe you told a few a few of of the people who maybe you consider as uh, as friends 
and also it's uh, it's good sometimes to, to be open and talk about maybe if you have a problem with someone or if you have maybe some challenge in your life it's good to also accept and talk talk it out maybe look for a person who is maybe elder than you and uh, try to solve the the problem so that it does not become a bigger problem so yeah the issue has been resolved uh nothing really there was there was uh you know the internet sometimes people now you might uh you might throw a stone to someone like this and then now someone else get the information and says ah the stone that was thrown was like this <laughs> so yeah the internet also be careful maybe where you get your information also from but so far so good nothing really happened that much uh, what you have to look art is how to move forward how to continue with life and how to spread positivity positive messages all the way and uh yeah personally uh, i am mara if you ever watch this video uh, thank you for really creating a, a nice platform uh, in our village and also thank you so much for putting nyabohansi on the map I didn't mean to belittle people. I still believe, guys, I saw your comments, we interacted in the comment section, but this is what I know for a fact. But of course, that could be so true. You know, it could be true. It could be two things. <laughs> this guy was not greeting Dimwango. At the same time, Dimwango was, was trying to <laughs> get an entanglement, was trying to be in a relationship with this guy. It could be the two things, but one thing for sure, one thing for sure is that the guy came from a, or rather comes from a good family, you know, well off, and uh, that is how he was moving back then. Guys, what makes you think that uh, people don't change, especially when you have to, when you have to be <laughs> smelling people, oh, let me use a very good term, what makes you think that people will not behave the way Nasto is behaving, especially when you have when you have to be in good terms with these people, <laughs> when you have to be, when you have to still have that good rapport with these people, otherwise they'll kick you out. What makes you think that he will not come out here? Huh? Even if it's making the rumor that, oh, this chick wanted me, I didn't want her, that is why the beef, no. Guys, from reliable sources. <laughs> But at the same time, I don't deny the fact that uh, maybe, maybe Dimwango wanted a relationship with him. And he re rejected the offer. <laughs> the offer. So, guys, he came out here and apologized. Let's watch because nowadays I drag. I'm supposed to have pulled out that receipt. Let's watch, then we come back. So, that is the receipt for today's, <laughs> for today's shenanigans. So, <laughs> That is what I said, exactly what I said yesterday. It There was no point. No point for me now to come out here, you know? <laughs> and uh, guys, understand this. Don't get me wrong. Understand this. I'm talking on a side of, <laughs> side of uh, the hassle, you know? I'm, I'm putting myself on her shoes. <laughs> it, was not, it was not necessary for her to come out here and run. <laughs> run her mouth. Because look at the position that she is in. Guys. Look at the position that she just found herself in. Huh? The likes of Nasto. Nasto came out here and did everything he could. <laughs> Can you imagine you're licking someone else? Hmm? You're licking someone else, Nyash. It's, it could be even smelling, but you have to because, hey, this is your main asshole. You come out here, be honest about your story. That will be it for your career. So, I mean, how we should have just... Of course, it was so interesting for us, but now you come out here and defend someone who, <laughs> who is so self-centered, <laughs> who is so self-centered. He will just do everything that suits him, you know, but I understand him. Don't get me wrong, I understand him. I could have also done the same. Honestly, you could also. Let me not speak for you because uh, <laughs> I'm trying to put myself in their shoe because uh, this is a person, this is a person who is trying to be to maintain the good rapport between him and his family because he knows hey if you come out here and go against these people that will be it for you but now but now hey, why did he apologize why why did he have to mention exactly what i said yesterday 
Why? <laughs> is it a coincidence? Is it something that he just picked out of everything that he would have come out here and mentioned? Is that the only thing that he thought? Hmm? Let me come out here and apologize and mention that I didn't mean to belittle anyone. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You know the tingle. <laughs> so, guys, let me know what you think because uh, you see how people move. And I hope I'm trying to explain my, my points. I'm trying to explain my points because people can act out here. People can act out here to pretend that um, there's something they are not. I'm not coming for anyone. I'm just trying to explain. Because some people look at, uh, look at uh, Dimwango and they're like, wow, this person. Of course you know them. This person, she's so nice. She's so this and this. But of course... For some of us who have uh, been watching her for a while, we know who she is. She cannot even, <laughs> she cannot even lie or something. We know this is someone that we know. Hey, if you spend your time and you know, you know, you can discern someone who is so honest, so nice. You know, as this fanatic C B Mwango, you, we we all know. We know, <laughs> we know her character. At the same time. At the same time, the way Nasto comes out here and pretend to be all oh, this so composed, so nice, so this and that does not mean that these allegations that are coming out here, huh? that are coming out here towards him are false. It doesn't mean that. People can put out here, people can put up some face, huh? some character that <laughs> it's not them. They are just trying to survive. So that is what I'm trying to say. That is a fact. That is what happened and that is why he came out here to apologize. I didn't mean to demean anyone back then. At the same time, I'm not, uh, I'm not coming out here to be like, oh, that didn't happen, this and that. No. <laughs> it could have happened. It could have happened. Do you might have <laughs> might have come out here looking for a chance or something was rejected and that is why very possible i even believe that honestly because of course we know <laughs> the history with men so it's not like uh, that is so possible guys but uh, of course don't ever come don't uh, this is what i think don't ever believe someone so much that uh, that you think they cannot do some things so guys so guys, let me know in the comment section, why did Nasto apologize? Why did he apologize? And this is someone that came out here, oh guys, in uh, Prince Odinga's comment section, I even shared yesterday, this is the message because I have it out here. Let me read it. Yesterday, uh, yesterday very early or something, he shared this, big lies from the lazy gang. Can you imagine after me, now we came out here to speak the truth, lies from the lazy gang. Watch our PGM Doma, I translated that uh, it means that let them run their mouths. Is the same person who has come out here on a video I think I just shared that, um, guys, it was a small issue. We, we solved it. Eh? We already solved. <laughs> we already solved that issue. And I apologize, I didn't, when I was growing up, huh? that is not part of my upbringing. I'm sorry if some people thought. Mm, if someone thought that I was trying to belittle them and I came out here with the, that allegation that Dimango even shared I think at this point I have to pull out that receipt it doesn't mean that anything that he, she comes out here to allege is the truth <laughs> no, that is not the case but I still have someone very reliable that has shared the same thing of course people change the way you were relating with your friends in the past is not the same way that you relate with them nowadays so I'm just trying to say this it's so possible anything is so possible and people can come out here and pretend especially with someone who will come out here oh guys, that is, nothing happened it's lies a few hours later oh guys, we solved the issues and there is someone out there me now who has come out here to defend you but you don't care you just want to be on the good side with these people so that you don't lose the the subs and the and the and anything else 
anything good that comes with it. So guys, I hope you understand that. But of course, as I always say, feel free. <laughs> Feel free in the comment section to let me know the thing or let me know what you think. Of course, as I said, this is just my opinion. And uh, it doesn't mean that it's the case. We just come out here. I give mine, you give yours, and I'm always in the comment section. We discuss about it. So, let's move to something else. Mura Senso in Arosio landed in Argentina yesterday and I'm like... Yesterday and I'm like, wow, finally we can see where she comes from because uh, this is a person. Hmm? Rocio, this is someone that came out here and called, huh? <laughs> called the villagers some parasites, huh? called the villagers the parasites, huh? the virus. I can't wait to see the opulence, hmm? the riches from where she comes from because it must be someone who comes from wealth, <laughs> not riches, wealth, like proper. <laughs> so let's wait and see, of course, uh, they are still on their way because uh, by yesterday I think they were in uh, the capital city so let's wait and see because it, it must be very interesting honestly for someone to come out here and pretend like she's something over the t over the top you know she's so rich to call someone else parasite let's wait and see of course it, it will be so interesting yeah what else is happening finally Dimwango came out here and cloud chest with what is happening oh uh, enough is enough something and uh, people were waiting but of course she didn't mention anything because she was wrong at the end of the day it doesn't mean that i support what she did don't get me wrong it was wrong you don't go to a party that was no that is what she did she came out here cloud chest with what was happening oh uh, enough is enough but of course she could not uh, address it because don't get me wrong that was wrong she was ghetto she was acting <laughs> it was not right basically what she did but uh of course guys of course of course it was not right don't get me wrong she's not right i condemn what she did because that was not your party it was not your party why go there harassing people you have your beef with the Anasto, whatever case might be. I just shared my thinking. <laughs> you let me know what you think about it. Whatever the beef was, that was not your place to go there harassing people, harassing everyone else. And that goes to tell our positive reactors that uh, you are nothing before these people. I hope you do this uh, reaction because you are looking for money or something, because of whatever reason might be, but not. Hmm? But note that uh, you're doing it especially for Dimwango because she doesn't care. <laughs> Before her, you're just uh, another parasite or something. So, guys, that was it. A very short video because it's getting dark. I don't like the the house lighting because it doesn't do me any good. I'm not even sure if you can see me. <laughs> I can hardly see myself. <laughs> So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing, like, share, comment, all the good stuff. And uh, most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, we'll interact as you always do. My people, my people, thank you so much for always coming back. You watch, you like, you share, you comment, all the good stuff. Thank you. I really appreciate you. My moderators, thank you. Thank you so much because... Every time I just premiere a video, you're always there. By then I'm thinking, when should I come out here on a live? Because I know when I come over, <laughs> I'm not going back. Because what? It's hard out here. You have to try everything. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was it for now. I'm not so sure if for the day. But that was it for this video. Until the next one, peace.